Okay, I'm at Finch Farm. I'm just gonna show a little build. I need a couple of beds, so I'm building a little ward onto my medical centre. So this is a this is a roof. It's not really a roof. It's a it's like a, a pier kind of uh, wooden floor, but I've been using it as a roof recently. Though it's got lots of gaps in it, I fill it up with uh, plywood, and I think it makes an effective roof. Actually, a, a different style looking roof. And uh, something I could quite imagine being used in the Commonwealth to, uh, you know, as a roof, basically. <laughs> this is just a simple scrappy build. I'm just trying to work on these uh, building videos, actually. I was trying to get them so they don't look too bad. So I'm going at 1.75 speed. And I'm cutting out the bits, a lot of the movement in between picking bits up. So there you go. So I'm not sure if that's best just to cut it down so it's not too bloody long or too boring. Because this is, this is nothing fancy. But yeah, as you can see, this uh, I probably could have done this a bit better by using uh, mats to get them, but they, they look fairly flush with the roof, as far as I'm concerned. Yes, yeah, so just basically filling all the gaps with uh, some plywood, and the voila, you have an effective roof. <laughs> Alright, yeah, this playthrough um, on my Xbox for some reason. This is the thing, is, can I, is it custom vanilla assets? This. Uh, or unlock set one objects. I think it's unlock set one objects. The uh, plywood, but uh, for some reason, whenever I put things down from the from that mod, I can't pick it up again. I have to store it in my uh, and then take it out again. I can't just move it, so it's really annoying. So if I really want to fine tune it, I have to stick it on a, an invisible mat. Then uh, tons of invisible mats sticking out all over the place. Yeah. Anyway, so that was the roof. And these are from the uh, the gate, the the wooden fence uh, tab. It's another custom vanilla asset, I think. Uh, not, uh, sorry, I'm not setting an object. But yes, yeah, so yeah, I quite like using those for. They're normally quite forgiving. It's probably they're sinking to the ground a bit, so you've got to use a concrete pillar sometimes if uh, to get it to the right height. Right then, these sinky walls. I thought I'd use this on a concrete pillar to. Yeah, because as I've got so, I'm up on a bridge here at Finch Farm, and because I've got so much built in here, I'm trying to have to, to sort of walk backwards and forwards a lot to get uh, into a place where I can do a, a, a long presser to uh, pick up things with the concrete pillar. So yeah, I've got to make sure I'm away from everything else, otherwise I select all by accident. Yeah, so you see there, I've got two mats there, so I had to shoot the pillar down, so I was only touch it affecting the bottom mat, so I could move that into place better. Yeah, for a look. It would look good as a as a incentive for the roof to rest on, basically as a support for the roof, and it goes through nicely there. So I'll get a couple of these together, put these back to back to make uh, some wall from the bottom of it, the bottom of the bit that was sticking out there, sticking up in the air. It's got a bit dark. Never mind. Very dark effect. I don't know if I even have me blinking the uh, pit boy light on or me uh, the armor light on. Right, yes, yeah, so I squeezed these in underneath. To be honest, this is this it's only a really simple thing I built here. It took forever to do it because I said I was walking backwards and forwards and, and I had really had no idea how I was going to proceed. But so uh, I never really plan anything in advance. It's just literally I decide what I'm going to build, what its purpose is going to be, and then I just play with different bits until it looks until it looks good but yeah I thought it was a bit too didn't like the texture of it so I put this couple of these little uh, fancy pieces at the bottom because I think it makes it look a bit more yeah it looks more interesting looks more supported or like a solid wall I could have put, put like a couple more behind it actually that wasn't too uh, flush that one yeah a couple on this side might have been a good idea but I didn't bother right now a couple of these side by side again I can't pick these up once I've placed them so I've got to make sure I get it right right then put them into position with the old concrete pillar yeah I had the roof a little bit too far back actually so it meant it was a little bit too tricky placing stuff against the side of the overpass the middle bit of the overpass can be a bit tricky to place things on yeah, you can see it's just overlapping slowly. But I suppose that's quite good actually if you think about it because there any rain will uh, roll, roll off the back of the bridge. Right, now fill in this little gap. I do. Get in there. That's it. 
so that was it really there's not much much, much to it I've got a support on this side I, I, put a, I was quite pleased actually the only little, the little uh, supports that you get for balconies and uh, upper floors shack floors and stuff like that they, they clicked straight in on this on this uh, floor I was quite happy with that so oh wow that's really helpful thanks a lot <laughs> you've clipped straight in there without me having to hassle you for hours and I thought right, I'll, use, I'll use a post from the old barns to uh, and that went in pretty easy as well actually so, oh, most accommodating. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. And then, uh, for that, it'd be cool. For, that's fine for supporting that side. So it's quite open, quite open, scrappy little side building. I like it. And then just a bit of decorating, a couple of beds. Because I was too, you can see on the top bar, I was two beds short at this settlement, so I thought I'd uh, make a little. Little hospital ward. This is quite good. I discovered. Actually, this is good. I, I, first of all, I use a concrete pillar to put a um, a sleeping bag on top of a of a stretcher. But then I didn't realise it actually goes on without even having to do that. You don't need a concrete pillar to glitch it on. You can just actually literally stick it on top of a stretcher. So it's like awesome. I shall be putting those in all my medical centres from now on. And I was quite. I was thinking, would they actually use it though? I mean, it looks good, but would they actually use it? And actually, as soon as I put it down, somebody come and lay on it, and uh, the proof was in the pudding. One of my settlers just like, oh yeah, that looks comfy. Yeah, a little tiny bit of decoration didn't do too much. You can see I'm right at the top of my build limit, so yeah, I'm fed up. I keep to Okay, what happened in the middle of this one? I, I threw all my uh, guns on the ground, stored them all in the. Um, workshop and I forgot to pick him up when I went to help a settlement out so I rushed off to another settlement to go and save the day went to went to get a weapon out and realized that all I had on me was my fists <laughs> and a couple of grenades so it's like oh bum right yeah and probably put these like these uh, decorating things the lamps and the stretchers are all in the hospital tab for uh, themes yeah, then just a couple of bits of... I couldn't find a clipboard, so I bought, uh, like it's a comic for someone to read while I'm in, in the hospital bed. A couple of pieces, a couple of notes, and a pencil there for the, the doctor's notes, basically. I do. I do. I see, look. Someone's already asleep. Ah, oh, that lovely stretcher bed I made for them. Let's put a little bag of blood at the bottom there. Bit of buff out on the side there. Tiny bit of anything, everything else is in this chest of drawers. So you didn't have to put too much uh, of a decoration around. Just a couple of little medical boxes on top of it. And then, let there be light. Put a little bit of lighting up as well. Right, it wouldn't go straight to the roof there. The roof kind of it kind of stays off of the roof, not properly being on it. So it's, off, it's just suspended in mid-air there. So I stuck it on the side instead. Right, yeah, next to it, you see next to it, you've got the medical, uh, that's the medical place just there. I think I have done a tour already for what I'd already built at Finch Farm. There you go, so, put a bit of light in here as well. Yeah, that's really basic, the, I didn't have, um, do it yourself when I did this. I didn't have any mods at the time when I did most of this settlement. Now I've got the mods, I'm sort of going around and adding bits to, to places. I could do put in do it yourself so the shelves are a bit more full. But yeah, that's it, just a bit of light. Let there be light. There you go. I quite like it. Very simple and basic, bit open plan, but yeah, let's just hope that it's warm nights out in the Commonwealth. Yeah, cheers for watching.